Hello, boys and girls. This is Go Math Grade 4, Lesson 3, Multiply Two Digit Numbers, Lesson 3.2. We're going to estimate products. All right, let's go ahead and start Lesson 3.2, Estimate Products. It says, our essential question, what strategies can you use to estimate products? Unlock the problem. The Smith family opens the door of their refrigerator 32 times in one day. There are 31 days in May. About how many times is it opened in May? Well, let's underline the information that's, it, it, that's important. We know it's open 32 times in a day. There are 31 days in May. And how many times is it opened in May? Well, the first thing we can do is we can estimate. We can um, use rounding and mental math. So we're going to estimate 32 times 31 as 30 times 30. All right. Well, once we have 30 times 30, we can take the basic fact of 3 times 3 is 9, all right, the 9, and then 30 times 30, 900. Um, remember, if the two numbers you're multiplying end with 0, you can just add it to the basic fact. All right, so the Smith family opens the refrigerator door about 900 times during the month of May. All right, let's look at this question. On average, a refrigerator door is open 38 times a day. About how many fewer times in May is the F Smith family refrigerator door open than the average refrigerator door? Well, um, 38 is close to 40. So I'm going to round 38 to 40 and I'm going to multiply the 31, the number of days in May, by 40 and I get 1,240. Well, 1,240 is close to 1,200. So 1,200 minus 900, the number here, equals 300. So um, it is open 300 fewer times. All right, let's look at this page. All 24 light bulbs in the Park family home are CFL light bulbs. Each CFL light bulb uses 28 watts to produce light. About how many watts will the light bulbs use when turned on all at the same time? Well, we can use mental math and compatible numbers. Compatible numbers are numbers that are easy to compute mentally. All right. Estimate 24 times 28. Use compatible numbers. 24 is compatible to 25. 28 is compatible to 30. Now, boys and girls... Um, compatible numbers usually end in 5 and 0 because they're easy to multiply mentally. So now I want you to think, what is 25 times 3? Take that 0 off. What is 25 times 3? It's 75. Add that 0 and we have 750. So about 750 watts are used. All right. Now it says try this. Estimate. 26 times 79, round to the nearest 10. 26 can be rounded to 30. 79 can be rounded to 80. I want you to take the 3 times the 8 is 24. Add the zeros at the end, we have 2,400. So 26 times $79 is about $2,400. All right, that was rounding to the nearest 10. Now let's use compatible numbers. Remember, compatible numbers usually end in 5 and 0 because they're easier to um, do mentally. It's easier to add or multiply mentally. 26 is compatible with 25, and 79 is compatible to 80. Now, how can you use 25 times 4 equals 100 to help find 25 times 8? Well, 4, 8, I'm sorry, 4 is half of 8. 25, so half of a, or 
I'm sorry, let me do this again. How can you use 25 times 4 equals 100 to help you find 25 times 8? 4 is half of 8, so we would double it. It would be 200. So 25 times 80 is 2,000, all right? Um, 26 times $79 is about 2,000. Now, if you didn't want to do this where it said, how can you use 25 times 4 equals 100 to help you find out 25 times 8? I, I would do it this way. Um, I would say 25 times 80. Zero, zero, the four, sixteen, and two thousand. Okay. I think this this made it a little more confusing. If you just multiplied it out, you would have gotten that answer pretty easy. All right. All right. Let's look at number two. Explain why two thousand, two thousand four hundred, and two thousand are both reasonable estimates. Well. They're both the um, both estimated products um, use numbers close to the original factor, so therefore the estimates would be reasonable. Number three, in what situation in what situation might you choose to find an estimate rather than an exact answer? Well, for example, I might estimate um, to decide how many pencils my class might need in a week, or how many pieces of paper my class might need in a week, something like that. All right, it says, to estimate the product of 62 and 28 by rounding, how would you round the factors? What would the estimate estimated product be? Well, 62 rounded to 60 and 28 rounded to 30. 60 times 30 is 1,800. Okay, boys and girls, how about you round or you work this page for me, um, pause the video, work this page for me, come back and check your answers. Okay, boys and girls, I want you to look at the answers here. I estimated these. I did not use compatible numbers. If you used compatible numbers and you want to um, want me to look at your page, um, take a snapshot of it and send it to me. Um, but you can look at these and see how that I did it. I don't need to go over each one with you. Um, again, I don't, I need, don't need to go over this with you. You can look at it check to see if you got it right. Again, if you use compatible numbers, take a snapshot of your page, send it to me and I'll, I'll take a look at it. All right, so let's just go right down to number 12. It says find two possible factors for the estimated products. Well, these answers can all be different. What I did was I said, all right, 2,800. What two numbers can I multiply to get 28? Well, I note four times seven is 28. So 42 and 73, could be um, a good estimated, uh, a, two good factors for an estimated product of 2,800, or I could say 40 and 73. I could say 41 and 73. Um, this could be uh, 72 or 71, all right? As long as th your answer, if I multiply 42 and 73, and I'm about 2,800, then my answer would be correct. So again, if you want me to look at this, take a snapshot of it and I'll take a look at it. All right, let's look at 16. Mr. Parker jogs for 35 minutes each day. He jogs five days a week in week one, six days a week in week two, and seven days a week in week three. About how many minutes does he jog? Well, it's gonna be around 700. Um, because if I, uh, um, round 40 times 5 is 200 and 40 times 6 is 240 and 40 times 7 is 280 I add all those up it's about seven it's 720 so it's going to be about 700 now let's look at um, number 17 it says there are 40 
eight beads in a package. Candace bought four packages of blue, nine packages of gold, six packages of red, and two packages of silver. About how many beads did Candace buy? Well, I'm going to round 48 to 50. And I'm going to say 50 times 4 plus 50 times 9 plus 50 times 6 plus 50 times 2. And I'm going to come up with about 1,000 beads. Okay. Um, if you were if you're concerned um, that you did not do this correctly, this one right here correctly, um, take a snapshot, send it to me, I'll look at it. If you used compatible numbers instead of um, estimates, take a snapshot, I'll look at it and see how you did. Okay, boys and girls, do this page on your own. You do not have to do um, number 21. Um, pause the video, do the page, and then come back and check. Okay, boys and girls, um, let's look at this. If you used compatible numbers, you may have gotten a different answer, and you can um, snapshot and, and send it to me, and I'll look at it. But um, cause like I said, I like using the estimates instead of compatible numbers. So... Um, if we look at this, on average, if refrigerator doors open 38 times each day, Len has two refrigerators at his house. Based on this average, how many times in a three-week period are the refrigerator doors open? Well, um, I'm going to say 38 um, is an estimate of 40 times 2. It would be about 80 times a day. Um, a three-week period is 21 days. So I'm going to say 20 days, okay, as the estimate, and 20 times 80 is 1,600. So it would be about 1,600 times. The cost to run a refrigerator is about $57 a year. About how much will it cost to run by the time it is 15 years old? Well, it's about $900. I took that 57 and I made the estimated a 60, multiplied it by 15, and got 900. All right. If Mel opens the refrigerator door 36 times every day, about how many times will it be opened in April? Will the exact answer be more or less than the estimate explained? Well, it's going to be about 1,200 times, and it's going to be less than the estimate. Since only the only factors, since only one factor needs to be rounded, and the rounded factor is greater than the actual number, the exact answer will be less than the estimate. All right, let's look at 22. Which is a reasonable estimate for each product? Write the estimate. Um, an estimate may be used more than once. And here are your answers. Okay, it is time for your practice and homework, page 155 and 156. My class, please take a snapshot of 155 and 156. Get it to me as quickly as possible. I will grade it and put it in the grade book for you. This is the end of lesson 3.2. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel at Awesome Possum Classroom at 4 451. If you would like these worksheets, email me at awesomepossumclassroom at gmail.com and I will send you the link. Have a great day, boys and girls.